So we look at our book. Mm, at first, the sodium has two x one as electronic arrangement. It loses one electron to become stable octet stage, and forming the Na plus ion. On the other hand, the chlorine atom. S two H seven want to have one more electron to become stable octets. So after again one electron, we change to ClO minus ion. You can use the dots representing the sodium. The cos representing the Cl. The positive ion sodium ion and negatively charged chloride ion has a force. The attraction for force between them, and the attraction force is not weak but very strong. And this kinds of force in between the oppositely charged ion called electrostatic force. As a whole, it is called ionic bond. Ionic bond is a strong non-directional electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ion. So. Uh, what is mean by long directional? Okay. Um, you need to use chapter nine. Um, you look at the structure of the sodium chloride. It has sodium ion and also the chloride ion. The attraction force be, uh, is in between positive and negative ion. When you look at one of the ion, example the center sodium ion, it attract to the labeling chloride ion. So uh, attraction force, ionic bond, another ionic bond, another ionic bond, another ionic bond, front, back, left, right, top, and bottom, as well as sideways and far, far away chloride ion. So uh, the, there is many attraction force, many ionic bonds for this sodium ion and the chloride ion surrounded. The force is created in all directions. So uh, we call the force non-directional force non-directional force